In this video, I would like to show you Sidecore Cloud, the portal to manage your composable DXP apps as well as XM Cloud Deploy app. Together, we will create our first project, environment, and set up our first site. As I'm part of an organization which is called Sitecore Dev Relations, I have already logged in. So, an organization is a customer subscription, for example, for XM Cloud. Each organization has an organization owner that is able to add team members and administer the subscription. So, once I'm logged in, I land in the Sitecore portal. Let's have a look around. First of all, I can see my name and a welcome message, followed by the quick actions that allow me to invite new members or manage my XM Cloud projects. As I have already worked with XM Cloud, I can see all my deployed XM Cloud apps in the Apps section. On the right side, I find helpful context information linking the documentation, links to the Sitecore support or the developer portal, as well as some suggested community resources. As an organization owner, I can manage the team members. So I can, for example, invite new team members by providing an email address and set the access rights. You can choose between admin or user, and you can further set up access rights per app. In the header section, I can access the quick actions again, as well as the app actions to directly navigate to pages or content editor. I can access the help sections with its resources. I can manage my account to edit my details and change my password. I can always go back to the home screen via the home button. And with the nine dots on the left side, I can access my deployment apps and from here also the tools associated with the apps. Pages or content editor, or simply access the dashboard, formerly known as the Launchpad. Important to know, when you are a member of several organizations, you can select the right organization when logging in using the org switcher or switch anytime later. This might be especially relevant when you work for a Sitecore partner supporting several clients. As a next step, I want to create my first site. To do that, I need to switch into the deploy app of XM Cloud. What you will notice is when switching between Sitecore Cloud Portal and the Deploy app, I don't have to authenticate as it's all handled via Sitecore Identity Single Sign-On. So I'm not prompted for additional logins. Within the Deploy app, I'm in the Project Management. From here, I can see the associated environments, delete projects that do not have environments anymore, and create new projects. When talking about projects, one project can include several environments. Each environment includes one Sitecore XM Cloud CM instance, so each CM instance can serve multiple sites. However, if you need to separate your CM instances for legal or organizational reasons, you do not share any content between those or also have a complete different code base, then probably you will create different projects with each having different environments. As mentioned, each project can have multiple environments. That can be the productive environment, as well as some pre-production or UAT environments, or even dev or sandboxes. The amount of projects and environments you can create depends on your subscription plan. Back to our task. We wanted to spin up our first site. Therefore, we need to create a project as I don't want to run that new site within one of the existing projects. When creating a project for the first time, you currently have two choices. You can create your project using one of the starter templates that Sitecore is providing for you. Think of it as a foundational starter template that will give you all of the artifacts and resources needed to create a successful project, environment and site on top of XM Cloud. You can also start from your existing headless code base for XM and connect it to the deployment app. So you are providing your own code base and start with your own code solution rather than selecting a code provider. For now, I'm going to use the starter template. Currently, Sitecore provides only one starter template, which gives you a JSS solution on top of headless SXA. 
Then I provide it with a project name. I will call this Demo XM Cloud. Once I've created my project, I need to choose the source code repository provider to which the starter kit solution provided by Sitecore will be cloned. This way, you get a code base copied as a foundation to start from. So, it's asking me if the XM Cloud Deploy app can connect to my GitHub account. Next, I can select already existing GitHub connections or create a new one. When creating a new one, you need to authenticate against GitHub and give permissions for the XM Cloud Deploy app to either all repositories or only a selected repository that you can choose. This is required to give permissions to the XM Cloud connector to create the new repository. Then I have to provide a repository name. Finally, I'm providing an environment name. I get to decide whether this is a production environment or a non-productive environment. If you select yes, this environment will get served with additional tooling with different SLAs than the non-productive environments. Details can be taken from your subscription. Additionally, it asks if I want to link it to my source repository and if I want to trigger a deployment whenever I make a commit to this branch. I hit create and deploy, which ends the project creation wizard. Now the first thing that happens is that the Deploy app is reaching out to my GitHub account and clones the repository. So if I go to my GitHub account and I check my repositories, I can see that this brand new repository has been created called Demo XM Cloud. You will see that there is a collection of different assets that lay the foundation for XM Cloud and site building experiences, including a readme file with details for developers on how to get started and run that solution locally for development and troubleshooting disconnected from a remote host. When we go back to the deployment process, we see two things running in parallel. The first thing is the provisioning process. This runs all the scripts to create the resources for that new environment. So we started with nothing and we are creating an Azure Blob Storage account, Azure databases for the content management system, the headless CMS system itself, all indexes, media library, basically all. At the same time, we're doing the build from the solution stored at GitHub that was created. It's running on a build server internally. Once that is done, it's going to deploy. In all steps, the XM Cloud Deployer provides detailed logging to see where the process got stuck or even sending details to the support. Once the deployment is done, you can launch into a newly created CM instance. Before I go to create my first site, let me show you the project and environment that has been created. On the start page of the deploy app, I can see the new project that has been added. From here, I can navigate to see the environment as well. I could delete the environment, navigate to the launchpad from here as well, or edit the environment details. Back to the dashboard. In Content Editor, we can see that there is currently no site or content available. We can create a new site going to the new tool called Sitecore Sites and add our first site. We can select between a basic site showing some content or an empty site. Let me choose the basic site for now. Provide a site name, a domain, and get the setup started. The site creation process creates all the items that we need to get started. You might know that process already from previous site creations with SXA. Once my site is ready, let's have a look. By clicking on the site, I land in Sitecore Pages. From here, I can design and edit my site in a what you see is what you get way.